Alright, so Dragon Ball Super Episode 123 aired this past weekend, and here's my under 10 second review. Damn, Goku is smart. Damn, Vegeta is a beast. Damn, Jiren is pissed. So in summary, this was an epic episode. Seriously, seeing just how strategic Goku was able to fight against Jiren made me super hyped for the finale of this tournament, which at this stage, we have no idea how it'll go. Vegeta's new form, which I'm personally referring to as Super Saiyan Sparkly, was pretty dope. And just seeing Jiren pissed was, uh, Honestly, it was kind of scary. I really can't wait for the fight with Goku and Vegeta versus Jiren, which we probably won't be getting the full extent for a few episodes. In fact, I'll be speaking about the Goku and Vegeta versus Jiren fight in another video, but for now, I wanted to talk about something else. So to delay the fight between Goku and Vegeta versus Jiren, for the next few episodes, they're throwing in some filler fights, which don't worry, <laughs> they're just as interesting. So I wanted to talk about episode 124, and just a warning, this video will contain some spoilers. So if you don't want the next episode somewhat spoiled, Spoiled, I recommend clicking the like button, subscribing, turning on post notifications, maybe even leaving a comment and then you're free to leave. <sighs> Okay, let's go. Dragon Ball Super Episode 124 is titled A Stormy Fierce Attack. Gohan fights with his back to the wall. And the summary for this episode is Gohan helps out Freezer in his fierce battle against Universe 11's Dispo. The two are at the mercy of Dispo's light speed movements. And if we redirect ourselves to the episode preview, we can see that both Gohan and Freezer are indeed fighting Dispo, which makes me wonder what happened to the Gohan and Android 17 versus Topo fight? Topo isn't gone yet. In fact, Episode 125 is all about that guy, but it's it's still interesting. Did Android 17 yell at Gohan and tell him to leave this to him? Who knows? Anyway, it seems that Gohan and Frieza may be struggling against the second fastest in all the universes. First obviously being <clears throat> Berta. All universes would be screwed if this guy was in the tournament. But yeah, they seem to be somewhat struggling. In another spoiler, which is a big one, we get this. Frieza proposes something to his opponent Dispo. If Universe 11 wins, please use the Super Dragon Balls to resurrect me. Promise me that and I'll have no problem cooperating with Universe 11. So. Frieza seems to have a deceptive plan, little shit. In the episode preview, we see Frieza talking to Gohan and Gohan just looks pissed. Yo, what'd you say? We also see, okay, is this Beerus or Dispo? I cannot tell. Dispo would make sense. He, he's he's in the fight, he's pissed, but so would Beerus. What is happening? Why do you make these two look so similar? Anyway, back to what Frieza says to Dispo. Frieza agrees to assist with Universe 11 so long as Dispo promises to resurrect him. Now, this could actually have multiple outcomes. Outcome 1, Dispo says no. Outcome 2, Dispo says yes, secretly planning to trick Freezer because... Jiren. Jiren would not give away his wish, straight up. The only reason Jiren is in this tournament is for that damn wish, so Dispo would only say yes if he were going to trick Freezer. And that's possibly how Freezer and Gohan could get eliminated, they could both get tricked by Dispo. I'd give Dispo a award for that, that's, that's kind of smart. Outcome 3. Dispo says yes, once again with the intention of tricking Freezer. However, Freezer betrays Dispo. And honestly, I think this is the most likely one. As interesting as this request may seem, I find it very unlikely that Universe 11 would, would waste their wish on bringing back Freezer, as Freezer cooperating with them wouldn't really benefit anyone. Sure, Freezer would be a prick and, and, and eliminate Gohan, but that's... It's Gohan. Just just throw a book off the stage and he'll chase it. Universe 11 knows they currently have the upper hand in the tournament, with this beast anyway. Who's going to beat him? Why would they do this? Dispo would only accept the offer if he would have turned against Freezer. Besides, would Freezer really betray Universe 7? Oh yeah, of course he would. He's a dick. In my opinion, I think this is a trick on both ends. If Dispo agrees, Dispo's plan will be to trick Freezer into thinking that, yeah, yeah, man, I'm going to bring you back, and Freezer will be already planning on going back on his promise because that's just Freezer. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'll take you back. Oh, good. However, even if Frieza did go through with this, what type of betrayal would he do? Eliminate Gohan? Try eliminate Vegeta? In my opinion, once again, this is all one big trick on both ends. Could be quite dangerous, but it could also make for an interesting subplot. The tournament of power is getting more and more intense as time goes on, and that means I'll be pumping out a shit ton load more videos, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Let me know what you think about Freezer betraying Universe 7. Will he betray Universe 7? Is this just a trick on both ends? What's your take on it? In my opinion, this is Freezer freaking interesting. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, check out my most recent upload about five signs that Jiren will win the Tournament of Power. You might enjoy that, you might not, but you'll never know unless you click it. And I'll see you in a few days for a new video. Peace.